Good day, my friends. Good day, my friends. I want to talk to you regarding the top five crypto news of the week from January 29th. All right. We know today is February 2nd, but a lot of people miss the top five crypto news of the week. And I want to share it with you so that you can catch up and catch on. I am Romeo, the professor with A to Z Investor. We invest in cryptos, forex, stocks, real estate. When you subscribe to this channel, you're going to get exclusive training, Bitcoin, altcoin news, technical analysis, forecasts, and the best cryptos to buy based on the latest trends. So what are we going to talk about today? Let's talk about the five crypto news of the week. So we all know that one of the major news was Reddit partners with Ethereum Foundation to work on scalability solutions. We all know that popular uh discussion platform and aggregator Reddit has partnered with the ethereum foundation to work on scalability solutions for the ethereum ecosystem any tech that results from this color cal collaboration will be made available publicly and open source so that is huge okay so that's one of the topics now this is important 35 billion in trading volume Dogecoin market catch fire and memo buying frenzy. By the way, people, do not put your money in but Dogecoin. It was just a joke. Um, I would get out of it right now. Um, everyone has heard of what happened with GameStop and the impact of the large mass of retail investors can have on markets. Uh, the meme fueled speculative buying frenzy has now also spilled over the cryptocurrency market. The biggest beneficiary was game, uh, Dogecoin. But if I were you, if you have Dogecoin, I would sell you Dogecoin. I wouldn't keep it. Now, I have to say this. None of this is meant to be construed as investment or advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. So please subscribe now before we start. I am not a financial advisor. Okay. So, BT spiked 18% after Elon Musk featured Bitcoin in his Toretto pile. <laughs> so it was from it was at 32,000 and it jumped to 37,800 shortly after famous entrepreneur Elon Musk changed his Twitter bio to simply say Bitcoin. Now, he is one of the richest men in the world. We all should know that if you don't know, uh, well, now you know now. And he's starting to believe in cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin. Okay. So the fourth major news was the 150 million Bitcoin investment publicly traded crypto mining company Marathon buys BTC. We're going to click on that and read that more. But before I do that, ARK Invest CEO Catherine Wood says Bitcoin would likely need a two trillion market cap before Bitcoin ETF is approved. So uh, to be traded publicly. So those were the top five news for the week of uh, january 29th and the one that really make money sense money sense because dogecoin doesn't make money sense the really make one that make money sense is this one 150 million bitcoin investment publicly traded crypto mining company so we're going to read more of that so i can sh share with you a couple of the major news because that's very important okay as it loads up so we have 150 million Bitcoin investment publicly traded crypto mining company Marathon buys BTC. So why did they buy Bitcoin? The highlight. Marathon trades on the Nasdaq stock exchange. Okay. And the company plans to have more than 103 miners by 2022. That is humongous big news. They bought 4,812 BTCs, okay? Now, they Marathon said they aim to, the aim of the decision was for the company to become pure play investment options for those who are looking to gain exposure to Bitcoin. Now, my Marathon was likely inspired by MicroStrategy, which I have told you uh, several weeks and months ago, that uh, which has seen its stock more than triple in price since its first Bitcoin purchase in August 2020. OK, now the company decided to make its big Bitcoin investment and also mentioned MicroStrategy as for thinking company. OK, so that is huge news. So those are the five huge news that happened this uh, this week. Bitcoin currently right now. I'm not sure which currently trading. So let's go look at coin market cap. So let's do from market cap. So for market cap, let me back out. Sorry. 
let, let's do uh, ranking. So if we look at the ranking as a user, we say, don't pay attention to Wall Street Batch, um, coin market cap put it dead there to Joe. So we see Bitcoin currently trading at $34,838, okay? I will show you that's a strong support, okay? And for the last seven days, it did a 10% increase. Ethereum did 11% increase. So if we look at Bitcoin, let me go to Bitcoin so you can see it. Bitcoin currently right here. See where I have my white line? That was a strong uh, 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 resistance. It was a strong resistance where now if you look at, from the 30 minute, it's showing as a support. So that tells me if it bounces off in the next hour and a half, we'll know if it bounces off here, this 34,508, we have just now... Uh, created a support and like I said I see Bitcoin heading towards the 50,000 which it'll hit 37 bounce back a little right at to 36,000 and then hit the 40 and heading more higher and higher so that's the five major news that happened this week again I am Romeo the professor if you could do something for me today if you're first time um, listening to this um, channel, please subscribe and tell me you subscribe and tell me your thoughts about the cryptocurrencies topics we talked about today. Comment below. I am Romeo the Professor with A to Z Investor. Thank you.